We are here in Friesach, in Austria. It is the oldest town of Carinthia. Above the rooftop you can see the Petersberg Church. It is part of Petersberg Castle that is seated above the protected medieval town center of Friesach. In front of us, it is the historic townhouse of the Moravi family. My name is Jürgen Moravi. I am a monument conservator and an architect. And my name is Miriam Moravi. I am an art historian and a painteress as well. And we are very happy to introduce you to our restoration project. As you can see, this is a construction site. And there is still lots to do. But you have to imagine, when we first came to the house, it has been empty for 20 years. It was overgrown by holly bushes and creeper, and there have been huge holes in the roof. We had the ambition to awake the sleeping beauty. And in the beginning, there was scientific research, such as analysis of the age of structure and archaeological excavations. In 2019, the roof has been redone. The ambition was to rebuild the historic view of the roof. And therefore, we reconstructed all the chimneys. And for the roof covering, we mixed old bricks with new ones to get a vivid mosaic-like structure. This arch is one of the primary entrances to the house. In the 13th century, when this house was originally built, you have to imagine a yard gate here. Recording to this, this house has a history of nearly 800 years. We designed this new door in the tradition of old doors including the modern standard of thermal insulation. Do you recognize the blurry outlines? The reason is we made a double glazing using restoration glass on the outside. This kind of glass has the same wavy surface as historic window glass shows. As a result, you can see a door with historic design and appearance and modern standard of thermal insulation as well. This is our dining room, which is our kitchen as well. In the corner of the room, you can see the last bit of a brick wall that was put in front of the stone wall for straightening. When we removed the brick wall, we found a wall painting underneath. This 200 years old fragment shows a ribbon pinned with flowers and an imitation of a striped wallpaper. The owners of the house from that time preferred the exquisite design of fabric wallpapers, but they couldn't afford it. The less expensive way to decorate the wall was to paint the ornaments with a stencil. To get an impression how this room looked like in the time of Biedermeier, we did a reconstruction of the wall painting in this part of the room. This picture shows the bad condition of this room before restoration. As you can see, there's hardly any of the original plaster left. Nevertheless, the reconstruction has been successful.
We're in the middle of the restoration process in this room on the first floor. As we examined the wall, we found a rich decoration history, which can be read by the different layers of wall paint. They're following one another like the steps of a staircase. And the oldest layer from the late 18th century bears the richest decoration we found in this room. At this time, this used to be a bedroom, and the bed was placed in this vaulted niche. For this reason, it shows the richest decoration portraying tendrils, birds, and butterflies. And the main picture shows a landscape with different birds, and in the center, two lovebirds kissing above their nest as a symbol of life and love. I hope you could gain interests into the project and restoration. And we see you in Friesach. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.